Good morning, YouTube. Hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to another episode of the Rebuild Series. Getting ready to go train. Um, 196.2 this morning, so we're down two pounds of bloat from yesterday, which is super cool. Um, yesterday wound up being a really strong day overall. Work was solid. Um, uh, we got most of our to-do list done, um, so really pleased with that. Really pleased with how we started off the week. That's what it's about. So I'm uh, going to try and make it two days in a row today. Another big day at work, so we're going to train, get ready, go take care of that. So with that being said, we're going to drink the pre-workout. We're going to get warmed up, get this day rolling. So let's go. All right, YouTube, let's get this training footage review underway from this Tuesday session. We had bench on the agenda today, chest and tricep focused. We had a strong back day yesterday, and I could definitely feel a little bit of fatigue today during the warm-up on the way to the gym. And then also in the back of my mind was, okay, what are we going to do about this new uh kind of shoulder issue that's developing so the plan that I came up with was if nothing else let's try and have a really good squat session let's try and push through the bench work and then shut it down if it felt worse so I didn't push bench hard on the max lift test and then last week when we were training and it, it was giving me a little bit of problem, we kind of shut it down. So I decided today that, hey, let's test and see what happens. So that was the plan that I came up with. Uh, talking to you now, I can say we survived the, uh, the bench day. So um, uh, we had that going for us because I really just needed to figure out, okay, is this just something that I might just have to deal with and push through every now and then? or what and what I really wanted to find out is is it any worse after I train it? so but on to the squat warm-up back hyper extensions hip adductors abductors uh, split squat isometrics for the warm-up today we were gonna do the three count pause eccentric front squat variation um, kind of the same plan as the front squat from yesterday's video we're gonna try and peak these for new maxes in three weeks so I looked at the weights that I hit last week and then decided where we should start so last week uh, or last wave we went like 155 165 and then 185 well today the plan was to work up to 165 and I will say last wave I didn't ever really push these very hard uh, mostly because I wanted to exert most of my energy on the three count pause front squat on Monday back squat on Wednesday safety bar squat on Saturday so I never pushed this one as hard as we could for as much as we could and then today we wound up kind of stepping it up a level so we wound up working up to 165 and I wound up doubling it. So um, uh, in last wave, it was the first wave where I had squatted every day. So I just kind of left this one, you know, as a just get under the bar type variation each day. Um, so we pushed it a little bit today. So that 165 for, for a double was cool. We did a lot of warm up pre bench today. So we did these narrow grip lat pull downs with a focus on trying to touch really high like almost to where my collarbone is and then we did some cable face pulls and then I also did some rotator cuff raises off of the bench so we did three rounds of these today and then we got ready to bench so we had sets of five today following the 531 program which uh, I think actually turned out pretty good. Um, uh, I'm more for, not to spoil it, but I almost set a training cycle PR. So um, I'm more frustrated that I didn't push uh, to get a couple more reps and that would have started the training wave off with a training cycle PR. So we went uh, 45 on the warm up, 95. So we went 45 for six, 95 for five. 
jumped up to 125 for five. That was my first working set. Uh, I don't quite have my, um, I guess, weight spread to where I can do three warm up sets. So we actually did two sets at 95 just to feel everything. And I really kind of secured my grip where I wanted it to be. Going wider definitely makes the shoulder issue worse. So I narrowed my grip just like a teeny bit today, um, uh, which makes sense because I tested this last week and it was the same thing. So 125 for five felt fine. 145 for five went smooth. And then 160 was the final set for five or more. And after 145, I knew I should probably push it. In my brain, it was, hey, let's just hit our five and go home. But uh, 160, we wound up getting this for eight. So I kind of wish I would have pushed because the most we've done so far uh, during this you know, training year for that was um, uh, 10 reps, and I was only two reps away. I think we could have got it, but the pain was there, and I was just like, you know what? You've proven that you can push through this a little bit, but let's not tempt fate. So we capped it at eight. Um, overall, super pleased. But I did kind of cap it there as far as the, you know, trying to lift quote unquote heavy. From here, it was just high volume work. I did high touch seated rows. So I'm trying to really work the upper back and rear shoulders to see if we can't get whatever's going on to feeling better so we did all of those for 20 reps and then when I say high touch like I'm trying to bring that bar up and touch it in line with my nipples we supersetted that with incline bench press um, we just did 95 pounds we repped it for 15 15 and 15 and honestly it was a pretty good chest pump I did go I would say maybe medium grip on the incline to try and stretch out the pec a little bit and it did seem to help finished off with some decline hammer strength chest press same thing super high reps we did a, a plate on each side for 25 and then we did 110 for 15 here and honestly i was feeling kind of gassed and i wanted to hit some uh, triceps as well um uh, overall i think Right now, my chest feels good. Shoulder actually doesn't feel bad, which was what I really wanted to see. Like, I can feel it, but it I wouldn't say it's any worse, which I think is a good sign. So we're going to keep kind of grinding on the shoulder work, the GPP work, and doing a little bit of extra work. And I, hopefully, it just kind of goes away, whatever's going on with it. Ended with some straight bar tricep pushdowns on the hard side of the uh, machine. Um, uh, off to the gym to get – or gym – off to the garage gym to get ready to lunge. I finally elevated the bench. Uh, I know I've been talking about doing it for a minute. It definitely worked. I could feel these in my glutes a lot more today, which was nice. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave it like that. Uh, we can clean that up a little bit. So I am gonna cut that two by six down. It was just, I didn't get to yesterday. Ended up with some Roman chairs here. That's my neighbor lady across the street. She's a beast. She goes out and walks at the local park at 4.30 every day. So she keeps me accountable because I see her getting out and getting after it. And I'm like, if she can, I can. So uh, we added a micro band to our monster mini band right here. Kind of up the tension. So we scaled up all of our GPP stuff. So trying to make the hips strong. Trying to make the glutes low back strong. Uh, anything to help the squat. Anything to help the deadlift before we go lunge as well. And it helps prime these, make these feel better. Lunges today, walking lunges, did about 125 meters today. Didn't time it, just trying to cruise uh, this week. Slowly build the distance up, hopefully, over the next uh, three weeks. Um, uh, legs are still feeling a little bit taxed from the squats on Saturday. And then I wanted to save a little bit in the tank for squats tomorrow. After that, we walked two-thirds of a mile then came back in the garage did our shoulder work rotator cuff raises same thing uh, with the elevated bench definitely added a little bit of difficulty to these so i'm curious to see how those go some high banded arrows here really trying to focus on the squeeze in the upper back 
shoulders. I think they're called erectors. Don't quote me on that. Um, uh, I know where how I feel it is. Uh, I don't know the anatomy, but I know how to feel it. Uh, we did our rear focus dumbbell raises. We're gonna jump up to heavier dumbbells from here. Everything right now was you know 20 reps or more. From there in to do our personal development. We've had two super solid mornings in a row. I'm trying to start this wave off super focused because we want to get those last 10 pounds and set those new maxes in the garage. I'm trying to keep that focus, keep that goal in front of me. And work's been a killer. So we just train, do our personal development, and go to work and reset for tomorrow. So we are going to wrap it there. As usual, I hope you're doing well. I hope you get 1% better. I hope you get some small wins, and I will see you next time.